welcome to Wacky Universe. This is Nadine reminding you to subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you don't miss any of our uploads. Now, on to the video. There are things in the modern world we don't pay much mind to, things some of us may take for granted. Keep watching and maybe you'll find there's more we owe to ancient Greece than we thought. Groundbreaking inventions that came from ancient Greece. 19. Move aside, New York. When you think of cheesecake, your first thought probably isn't of ancient Greece, but we do have to thank them for this delicious treat. Greece is a long way from New York, but that's where it's all started. The Greeks saw cheesecake as a meal that could provide energy for those eating it. As a result, ancient Greeks served athletes cheesecake at the first Olympic Games in 776 BC. The Greeks thought this dessert made for an appropriate wedding cake as well. The earliest recording Greek cheesecake recipe goes back to 230 AD. It also happens to be the oldest known surviving Greek recipe that we know of. We bet you didn't realize just how long cheesecake's been around. 18. The sport of all sports Everyone knows that Greece invented the Olympics, and it's still an event people celebrate in the modern era. The Olympics began 2,700 years ago. Its name derived from Mount Olympus, the home of the gods of Greek mythology. The first location of the Olympics was on the plains of Olympia. Back then, the Olympics took place every two years instead of four. The modern version of this tournament began in 1896. These weren't the only sporting events that the Greeks loved to host. The Isthmian Games and the Pythian Games were also competitions that took place every two years. All three were held in different locations in Greece. 17. Do the math. Even if you don't think you use math every day, the fact of the matter is that math runs the world. We wouldn't have the architecture and technology we have without a little help from ancient Greece. While other civilizations like the Babylonians, Egyptians, and the Indus incorporated geometry into their knowledge, ancient Greeks figured out exactly how all these mathematical rules worked. Euclid is known as the father of geometry. The Pythagorean theorem was named after Pythagoras. Archimedes was the leading scientist of his time. Greek scholars realized that early on, geometry is established by deductive reasoning. 16. To the grind. Water mills don't just push around water. They look simple, but they are essential parts of tasks such as agriculture, metal shaping, and milling. Without the invention of the water mill, Humans probably couldn't have processed foods like cereals, pulses, flour, rice, and more as early as we did. While there may have been different kinds of water mills in different regions of the world throughout time, it all started with Greece in the 3rd century. The earliest version of the water mill was called the Paracora Wheel, which historians theorize was most likely invented by engineer Philo of Byzantium. 15. The Star Taker People don't use astrolobes every day, but this device was definitely a revolutionary tool for its time. Astrolabes measure the altitude above the horizon of a celestial body during the day or night. Astronomers and navigators used astrolabes to identify planets and stars. They also used these tools to survey, triangulate locations, or figure out latitude. In short, we'd be lost without the astrolabe. The name derives from the Greek word astrolabos, which translates to mean star taker in English. Apollonius of Perga invented the astrolabe sometime between 220 and 150 BC. Astrolabes influenced the invention of the astronomical clock, a tool that uses mechanisms and dials to give information such as positions of the moon, sun, and zodiacal constellations. 14. The Hippocratic Oath Physicians must take an oath wherein they pledge to serve humanity and hold themselves up to specific ethical standards. While doctors today do not take the original Hippocratic Oath anymore, they do swear by something similar that stemmed from this ancient Greek pledge. The original Hippocratic Oath dates back to 275 BC, created by the Greek physician Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine. The oath prohibits doctors from divulging the private information of their patients, engaging in intimate relationships with their patients, and from performing unnecessary surgeries. 13. The First Lighthouse The Lighthouse of Alexandria is the oldest known lighthouse in the world, and many historians consider it the first. Before these towers, people created hilltop fires to guide those navigating on the sea to enter a port. Homer says that Palamedes of Naphplio invented the first lighthouse. Also called the Pharos of Alexandria, this structure was built sometime between 280 to 247 BC. Construction began after the passing of Alexander the Great. Its design would serve as the prototype for all structures of its kind to come. 12. Coin Money It's challenging to determine which ancient civilization was the first to use coin money. Before tangible currency, people traded goods to obtain different items. 
Along with the Greeks, the ancient Lydians and ancient Chinese are thought to have started using coin money around the same time during the 8th century BC. However, many historians argue that the Greeks may have been the absolute first to do so. Even if they weren't the first in the world, they were definitely the first in Europe. The ancient Greek currency was known as drachma which was initially shaped as rods instead of flat round pieces. From those rods, Greeks later on cut pieces that would later be known as coins. 11. Hero Steam Engine While steam engines did not become a significant component of transportation until the 19th century, that doesn't mean they were invented that late. The first steam power device was called an aeoli pile. The word combines a Greek and Latin word to mean the ball of Aeolus, in reference to the god of the air and wind. Mathematician and engineer Hero of Alexandria invented the aeoli pile also known as Hero's Engine. His is the first recorded steam engine in history. No one knows if the aeoli pile had any practical uses during ancient times, or if it was merely a novelty. One source described the advice as a party trick. 10. Flamethrowing Modern military flamethrowers were used in trench warfare during World War I, and then more popularly in World War II. Before that, Greeks used fire in battle in a similar way and they were among the first to employ such a method. Ancient Greeks had what was called Greek fire, an incendiary weapon used to set enemy ships on fire. They invented it in 672 and first used it on sieges on Constantinople in 673 to 678. What is Greek fire made of? No one knows. The military kept the manufacturing and operation of Greek fire so secret that hardly anyone back then knew how it worked. Documents on its design and how to operate it are lost forever. 9. Throw it here. Catapult seems so simple, yet it was a game changer when it came to warfare. How do you create critical damage to the enemy from far away? Strap some boulders or fire into a catapult and release it with a great force at a great distance. Dionysus, the elder of Syracuse, introduced the catapult to the military in 399 BC. This invention would be modified and used for over a thousand years. The crossbow inspired its design. Initially, catapults were used to propel arrows. By medieval times, stronger catapults were created to hold more massive objects, like rocks. 8. Ancient Automatic Doors Automatic doors seem like a modern creation, but it actually goes as far back as the 1st century AD. Our old friend Hero of Alexandria is also behind this invention. This mathematician designed the first automatic door and proposed a way to open them in a hands-free mode. This application involved using heat from a fire, letting the atmospheric pressure build in a brass vessel that pumps water into adjacent containers. Those containers weigh down a series of ropes and pulleys. Much later in the 1930s, engineers invented the automatic doors that we're familiar with today. 7. Mapping the World Did you know that an ancient Greek named Anaximander is considered the first cartographer in history? Research shows that the first maps in Western literature were made in 6200 BC. Anaximander's world map shows a startling amount of accuracy of the then-known lands. A few hundred years later, a Greek geographer named Dikaiarch introduced the concept of latitude and longitude. 6. The Archimedes Screw Thanks to the Archimedes Screw, ancient peoples no longer had to haul water up a hill to bring it to town. This screw helped pump water from a low-lying area into irrigation ditches above that would then flow into nearby settlements. Also known as the Water Screw or the Egyptian Screw, this device is considered the oldest positive displacement pump. Although it was first used in ancient Egypt in the 3rd century BC, its design came from the mind of Greek mathematician and engineer Archimedes. 5. The Practice of Medicine Humans have been dealing with sickness and injury since the dawn of time. The earliest practices of what resemble modern medicine did not happen until the time of the ancient Greeks. Thousands of years ago, people believed diseases were the god's way of punishing people. Remedies were almost always based on superstition. Hippocrates, who we mentioned earlier, is considered one of the most prolific figures in medicinal history. In addition to his oath, Hippocrates founded the School of Medicine and contributed significantly to the research of health and healing. 4. Pull the lever Something as simple as the lever changed how we operate. We have to thank Archimedes again for such an invention. This mathematician made the lever in 260 BC and devised a pulley system that helped lift heavier objects. The device consisted of a beam pivoted at a fixed hinge, called a fulcrum. In his documents describing the design, Archimedes stated, Give me a lever long enough and a fulcrum on which to place it, and I shall move the world. The quote prompted the famous image of a man moving the earth with a lever. 3. The Invention of Central Heating Even today, some really old buildings from 100 or so years ago do not have any air conditioning systems. 
Because of this, most of us probably thought things like a heater or air system did not exist until the 20th century. However, the ancient Greeks incorporated central heating technology in the Temple of Artemis located in Ephesus. This Greek temple, sometimes called the Temple of Diana, was built thousands of years ago. Because they didn't have electricity back then, the Greeks used fire. To spread the heat throughout the entire building, architects hid pipes under the tiled floor. The fire's heat spread throughout the metal would then warm the ground. Two, the birth of democracy. Many countries in the world have widely embraced the idea of democracy in current times. For those who grew up in a democratic government, Perhaps you never thought twice about how different this system is compared to how the world once was. The concept of every citizen having a say in how the government operates has origins in ancient Greece. The first implementation of democracy was seen in Athens around 508 BC. Before we reveal number one, we have a question for you. What is one thing you wish scientists invented but haven't yet? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. One, the art of theater. Some of the earliest discovered works of theater trace back to the Greeks. They came up with the amphitheater style venue which allows audiences all around to see, and no matter how high or low they sit, they can fully observe the show. The earliest literature of drama narratives were found in Athens. These texts were ancient hymns, called dithyrams, and were dedicated to the god of wine and partying, Dionysus. In the 6th century, those hymns became the basis for the public festival known as City Dionysia. These festivals consisted of entertainment through music, dance, singing, and poetry. The world's first actor was Thespis, where we get the word thespian. Thespis began the tradition of reciting poetry as if he were the characters around 534 to 535 BC. Genres such as comedy and satire were founded in Greece, as was the Greek tragedy, which was created around 532 BC. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, subscribe to our channel and make sure to turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss an upload.